Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing an e.l.f. makeup haul. Let's get into it. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I typically make videos about sneakers and lifestyle products. So this isn't really a typical video of mine, but I thought I would kind of show you what I got in realm of the lifestyle category. I do write about different things more than just sneakers on my blog. So I thought I would include this as a video because I know I'm sure some of you will be interested in. And I just ordered a whole bunch of things from e.l.f. and I wanted to show you what I got. So let's open up the package and I will talk about a little bit of my experience using some of the e.l.f. products that I've already used before in the past and I'll let you know if it's worth the money or not. So I just laid everything out just so that you don't hear the crinkle of the packages. It does come in like a padded paper recycled material uh, packaging just in case you want to know it doesn't come in a box I thought it would come in a box because I have something here that's in glass so I thought they would do it but they did wrap it pretty well it does come in a bubble wrap but anyways let's talk about a few of the items that I purchased so this is the elf camo liquid blush now I really feel like a beauty guru it's not even focusing on it However, this is meant to be the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Dupe and I can testify to that. I have already used this and I want another one just so that I have it on the go. But this is the peach perfect color and I just love it. It's super natural and not too harsh if you just want a really subtle blush look and yeah. I really love this product. A little goes a long way uh, for this product here. So just keep that in mind. And that's the same for the Selena Gomez. I have used that one as well. Literally the exact same thing. I don't know how they did it, but e.l.f. did it. The next thing that I have is the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer. So this you've probably been hearing about if you know anything about makeup, then you know that it's been compared to, to the Milk Hydro Grip. I've only used the Milk Hydro Grip in a sample from Sephora and I just find that this is a little bit better and way more affordable. And so I also use this on a daily. Uh, I either use this or the Selena Gomez Illuminating primer because I just feel that it makes my skin radiate a little bit better in my opinion uh, but this one will you know really stick to the makeup that you're using I love the color as well and it just works so that's the second thing this is the power grip primer so this is a new product actually from elf it's kind of the same thing it's a power grip dewy setting spray and it's a really nice spray apparently i've never used this is a product that i've never used so don't quote me on it but you're supposed to shake it and then you're supposed to spray it on and i don't know maybe i'll just try some on right now just to see how it is i don't think they have this in canada yet so i did order this off the website it does come from i think buffalo uh, if you're ordering in Canada, but it took a few days to get here. It didn't take too long, but let me just get the initial spray going. Okay, so super fine mist, very, very fine mist. And does it have a smell? It does not have a smell, which is surprising because a lot of the, like I've used the Urban Decay, the Charlotte Tilbury, it has these weird smells, but this one doesn't. So I'm kind of happy about that. You can either use this, you can use this before and after your makeup. I haven't tried it yet. So I'm just going to see how it goes for the next couple of days. There's aloe and hyaluronic acid, which is amazing and green tea seed oil, which is really nice. So 
yeah, it says you can apply pre-makeup to prep the skin or post-makeup to set. I likely will use it to set. I'll use this as the pre-base makeup and then use this at the end. We'll see how it goes. It's simple packaging and this is how companies keep their prices down, by the way, if you didn't know. So that's the next thing. That was the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. I'm excited to use it. The next item that we have is actually the Halo Glow Liquid uh, Filter. And this isn't, I wouldn't really say it's foundation, but I do use it on those days where I kind of just want to run out, but I need something on my face. I don't need a full face of makeup. And then I just end up putting this on and it makes your skin glow and it's amazing. You match it with this beautiful you don't even really need this to be honest but you can just use this as like a base to kind of just go out and run errands and i really love that so the thing you need to know about elf is that they do not take returns so keep that in mind i actually went to walmart to see the colors uh, to see which one would be uh, good for me and the nice thing is you can always return it at Walmart if it doesn't work for you So you always try to get uh, the closest match and then you try it out. So I was lucky I am the number two which is fair light and I like it, it makes your skin look really radiant and dewy and if you like that then I would say this is something that you should grab it's a great price compared to other uh, companies that are making something similar so the next items are just kind of brushes so this is the complexion duo brush here and on this end you, you would use for a foundation and on this end you would use for your concealer so I really like that I think it's kind of neat to have both I have e.l.f. brushes and they work great. I'm not complaining, they're a great price. And this trio, I got this No Budge Brush Trio set. I actually got this for free from e.l.f. And I think it's because I spent more than $50. Um, but you get these here. So it's liner, eyeshadow, and crease. And these are the tips, as you can see. So I thought that was a nice touch. Thank you to Elf for sending these. I'm super excited to have these. I don't have any of these brushes and it'd be kind of um, nice to try them out. So I'm super excited about that. So I got that for free. And while we are talking about free, they do also give out samples as well. So I ended up getting the Elf Big Mood Mascara. I don't know if you can see it. it's kind of reflective so it's like a mini mascara I just struggled to open the mascara sample out of here but I got it out and it says big mood on it I really like the packaging it has this really nice of reflectiveness um, ooh I really like the shape of this it's good because you can usually, I can usually tell when I look at the mascara to, if there's clumpiness on it, then I already know it's not going to be a good time. Sorry, Rare Beauty, but <laughs> I'm going to really try this out and hopefully it's good. I'm very excited about that one. And then the other sample that I got was this little mini tiny Power Grip uh, primer. Uh, but this one is with the niacinamide, so just a little bit of a different formula. I've never used this one, to be honest with you. So I was really excited that it was a sample. And look how freaking cute that is. This is the big one. This is the sample, and this is the original. Super cute, and I think if you can refill this, that would be like ideal oh yeah you can you can pop off the top you can put in the primer it doesn't smell like anything their products don't really smell to be honest with you but super cute i'm excited to try this out i heard it's the same it just has different ingredients it has niacinamide in it and this one doesn't which is why this one's pink so you can tell the difference but that's pretty much it i did have a lip liner as a well but my mom actually already took that and snuck it out and is using it and she really liked that that was the one thing that she wanted so i didn't show it in this video just because it wasn't a product of mine 
But all in all, really good experience ordering from them. I do want to mention that you can order some of the products because it does go over the state line. And I guess some of the ingredients aren't approved yet in Canada. So I really wanted to try this product, which is like a sprayable SPF, which I thought was really interesting because it drives me insane because you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen but the sun stick that I have actually like moves around my makeup and it just looks really bad. So I was really hoping to try out that spray, but maybe down the line, uh, Canada will be able to receive it, but that's pretty much it. That's my elf haul, nothing too crazy. Let me know in the comments if videos like this are interesting for you and I will continue to make it. I am by no means a makeup guru or know a lot about makeup. I try to just wear as little as possible and have a natural look for, for me at least, just my everyday look. But I thought I would show you what I got because I was really excited about it. And let me know if you have any questions about the products. I've tried most of them except for this one here, the mascara and the Power Grip Primer with the niacinamide. These are the ones that I haven't tried. I've tried everything else in this haul, so if you have questions, definitely let me know and I will try to answer them. But other than that, that's it for this week and I will see you in the next one. Peace, bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.